It ain't never did me dirty, so I'ma stick beside it. Hey girl, hey, good morning. We are talking skincare today, girl. So in this episode of my Road to 40 series, I am gonna show you all about my current skincare routine. Um, I'm literally gonna be 40 in four weeks. And this is the routine that has gotten my skin to where I feel like is the best it's been in years, years and years and years and years and years. And when I say that, I mean, pushing 20 years like this is the best my skin has looked since I was in my early 20s and I've had like a lot of skin issues including facial hair and oily skin and acne prone problematic skin and this current routine helps me with all of that so let's go ahead and get started so um I just finished brushing my teeth my hands are washed and cleaned and ready to go I'm gonna add on my little wrist puff cuff guard things whatever these are called i don't know um and it just so happens that they match <laughs> my pjs that i wore last night um so first up what i always start with is um baby shampoo this is hair and body baby wash um i started using this um maybe 15 years ago for me, it's like a facial cleanser and a makeup remover. I can get in and go in everywhere. And this was before a lot of cleansers were sensitive skin um, ready. Like like I said, I've been having issues with my skin for damn near 20 years. So 15 years ago, when I first started using this, there were not a lot of cleansers where you could go in in the eye area and get everything off without it really irritating your eyes. So I just started using baby shampoo and it's worked for me ever since. And I still use it. So I go in, my first wash, I go in with dry hands, dry face. I get two pumps of the baby shampoo. And get everything really clean. Go in right in the eyes. And I do the exact same thing like in the evenings, whether I have makeup on or not. This is so, it's a really good, like there are balms out there that you can put on that will melt the makeup off. And then you go in and wash your face and that's kind of what this does. I go in when I have a full face of makeup on, I go in with the same two pumps. And I go like exactly what I'm doing now in the eyes where I have mascara and liner and whatever else. It helps when I have on my eye primer and I have like you know products meant to help the makeup stay like it gets everything off okay first wash is done now second wash is still going to be with the baby shampoo but it's going to be with this little silicone face scrubber and I'm going in with another pump of the baby shampoo just one this time but I'm gonna go all over the whole face then do the same thing pretty much and I have tried to shorten my skincare routine by leaving out this second wash with the baby shampoo with this little scrubber I tried like two or three times to just cut out this second wash and every time I do, I I see my face start to break out. Like it's not getting as clean as it wants to because I skipped that extra step. My skin likes to be like super clean. Like I said, it's just so oily. My skin wants to be cleaned more than once, I feel like. And so since clearly I'm not in charge here, I do what my skin asks. So. I go in again after the scrub, I go in again with my hands and then I go back over my eyes again because my, my face is so oily, but my eyelids are the oiliest part of my face. So even like when I was getting false lashes or last extensions, 
my eyelids were so oily, like they didn't last as long as I felt like I was paying for them to last. And they would just come right out. So stop doing that. It's a waste of my money, but my skin is what it is. So everything else is based on that. Okay. First wash, well, second wash is done. Now for the third and final wash, I'm gonna go in with the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. It cleanses and removes oil without disturbing the protective skin barrier with three essential um, ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid for oil control. So for my third wash, I go in again with my little facial scrubber type deal here. And I go in with just one pump of the CeraVe face cleanser. Now this is, this cleanser is a lot thicker. And it's an actual cleanser. So, my face has been thoroughly cleansed twice to get off all the dirt and oil, whether it's makeup or just, I feel like I get even more oily overnight. So those first two cleansers got all that out of the way. And this third cleanse is actually with the the skincare ingredients that are going to be able to go get down into my pores and do what they're supposed to do now that all the other stuff is out of the way. And I go in pretty much with the same routine as with the baby wash, with the scrubber first and then my hands. And then because this cleanser is good for sensitive skin and everything else, I go in right over the eyes with it as well. All right, wash number three. <laughs> Whew, okay, girl, the wash number three is done. Whew, all right, now I go Pat my face dry. Another thing I always, always, always do <laughs> after I wash my face and go through the whole three cleanse process, there's a lot of water around here. So I just take that same towel and wipe down the counters. Also, what I normally do right about now is with this extra wet towel, well not extra wet, but from drying my face and everything, um, I would normally go in and wipe down my phone screen and give that like a cleansing twice a day in the morning in the evening, but since I'm recording on my phone right now, I'll do that in the bed. Okay, face is cleansed, moving on. And next up is toner, which my current favorite that has gotten my skin into a really 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 great place is this good molecules niacinamide brightening toner and i go in first with maybe five or six drops all over my whole face and neck And then like some extra time rubbing in on the areas where I do still have some, a little bit of um, leftover dark marks from where I had facial hair, which was all down in this area here and then like down here. Just a little bit. I've been getting facial hair removal for a year and a half now and the bulk of the dark marks are gone and the hyper pigmentation like the hyper pigmentation that's all gone for the most part there are some areas where i had a lot um and it was deeper and kind of was like more closer to like a permanent scar so those areas at one point in time i thought they were just going to be there forever they were not fading they got to the point where they had faded as much as they were going to fade on their own and they were just there and then i started looking into different skincare ingredients that could help fade older 
dark marks, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and niacinamide was one of the first products, one of the first ingredients that popped up. So I do typically go in twice with this one. The first time with like five or six drops, the second time with just like maybe three or so. And then I just go in twice. And not only does it help with um, dark marks, but niacinamide is so amazing. It's like, I feel like as far as skincare ingredients and go, niacinamide is that girl. Like she helps with hyperpigmentation. She also helps with um, shrinking your pores, helping you to be less oily, overall skin texture, brightening. Like there are so many aspects to using niacinamide and it's in a lot of different ingredients, a lot of different products nowadays. So you can get products that have a really high concentrate of niacinamide and you can get some that have less, but it just kind of depends on your skin and what you need that niacinamide to do. But I highly recommend getting some skincare ingredient I mean, some skincare product with the ingredient niacinamide in it, at least one, at least one. But anyway, next up is the Glow Baby Serum by Pacifica. This is the Glow Baby Booster Serum with glycolic acid and vitamin C. And when I first started using this product, um, I was using it at night only. And I know you may seem like, why were you using a vitamin C product at night? But contrary to popular belief, vitamin C is not just a daytime ingredient. Like when you wear it in the daytime and you go out in the sun, the sun triggers the, the vitamin C to work in a certain way, but it'll also have, you know, a lot of benefits for your skin when it's not activated by the sun. So I was using it at night mostly because of the glycolic acid that's in it. Um, it's not the, that's not the ingredient that you wanna use like in your daytime skincare if it's highly concentrated and it's one of the more active ingredients in whatever product you're using it in. So I was making sure I was not using the glycolic acid in the daytime, but in this particular product, both the vitamin C and the glycolic acid are not the most highly concentrated versions of themselves. And um, they're both in this product safe to use in the daytime. So I started using it in AM and PM. This serum is part of my AM and PM skincare routine. And I love it. I always be sure to go in with whatever extra I have on the back of my hands. And this product is um, the glycolic acid is, is an exfoliating ingredient. Um, and then the vitamin C has all the benefits. Like I said, when you're using it, when it's activated by the sun and when it's not. But it also helps to shrink my pores and help with overall um, oil control. Helps keep me a little bit less oily throughout the day. So anything that's going to help me keep me even a little bit less oily, I'm down. I'm down for the cause. And then next up is my eye cream. And for whatever reason, any time I ever try to show you this product, it never focuses. Maybe I can try, because I do have an extra one. So maybe with the box, it'll focus a little. There we go. It's the Reviving Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Eye Cream. And it has vitamin A and Sepalift to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And that's the extra one I have, because this one is... It's not almost gone, but it is kind of almost gone. You can see it's not all that much left. There's a, there's product like along the side. So that's where I'm, I've been using the rest. This is not the most expensive eye cream. I think it's like $9, 10 And it does say good for AM and PM. But... Just because it's not super expensive don't mean I want to be running through it and I'm going to throw it away just because it's almost gone. We're going to use everything that's in that in that little container that I can get out before we switch to the new one. But I do, especially with the Equate products here recently, when I'm like almost gone, I'll go in and go ahead and get another one because they be off the shelf sometimes. And it take them like a few weeks to get back on the shelf and I don't want to be not using my favorite products out of my routine and it'll throw my skin off. Because like I said, finally getting into a good place after 20... Plus years, it seems like. 
I'm not trying to do nothing to mess up none of this, okay? So with my eye cream, I go all the way around. I go up in this area right here where I have, you know, I'm really expressive when I talk. So like when I do all of this, my face is doing the most. So I, can, I started to see like a little bit of wrinkles right in here. So I'll make sure I go right there. I go over the eyelid as well. And then of course under. So full circle for the eye area. Last but not least is the matching face cream. This is the advanced firming and anti-wrinkle day cream for face and neck. And I think it was last summer. No, it was before that. It was like, yeah, no, it was last summer. It was the summer after my husband's 40th birthday. My husband turned 40 in May of 2022. And it was like, just after that, I remember I was at work and I was recording a video <laughs> of me like working at my desk. And when I went back to look at the video, Look, the camera angle was like a little bit lower. And I just kind of noticed that my neck didn't really look how I thought it was. Like, I never really thought about how my neck looked. I never really paid much attention to it. Up until then, it had, it had done me well. And in that video, it just kind of looked a little loose, a little old, I guess. Older than I wanted it to look. So from then, I started making sure I was putting my face creams and serums and everything on my neck. And then when I found this face and neck product... I saw everything firming up in a major way. So that is a must at this point in my skincare routine. And right now my skin feels so soft and hydrated and moisturized and healthy. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like I have a lot of products on my face, on my skin. It feels good. It feels really good. So this is my daytime routine the only thing that i do left um the only thing that i do last or next is the nyx fat oil lip drip this is in the shade scrolling and that's it that is my am skincare routine i'm gonna go ahead and get to the rest of my day but i will meet you right back here to show you what's going on with my pm skincare routine all right girl so now it is time to get into some pm skincare and to be completely honest with you, my PM skincare routine is exactly the same as my AM skincare routine. I still have the three washes. I use the same toner, the same serum, the same creams, everything. Now, the only time my PM routine changes a little bit is on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights. That's when I do um, a peel. I use the peeling solution from The Ordinary. And it is this one here that has this pinkish, burgundy-ish tint to it. Now, um, this is, um, it says it's a, it has AHA 30%, BHA 2%, and it's a 10-minute exfoliating facial with pH 36. And it says to use this no more than twice a week for 5 to 10 minutes each time so before i ever even bought it i actually like went and i watched all the you know the skincare girlies and watched their videos and their tutorials and their tips and tricks and suggestions because this is you know something that can irritate the skin if you're not using it correctly so one thing that everybody recommended to do was to do is um like a patch test on your wrist for two minutes um to see if you have any reaction you know i'm always complaining about how sensitive my skin is I definitely did the patch test, didn't have any irritation at all. So then um, I tried it um, twice in a week on Wednesday and Sunday for five minutes. And a lot of the girls that were using it saying like when they put it on, it would they would feel it tingling, like almost like a, a slight burning sensation because it was going into your pores and getting everything out and then exfoliating the skin and getting all the bad stuff out, leaving all the good stuff in. And when I was using it for five minutes, I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing at all. So, um, I, you know, the next time I tried it, I put a little bit more and I left it on for a little bit longer. And I saw one girl that was using it and her skin looked bomb. Her skin looked so good. So, so, so good. And she said she's been using this for years. 
And she says she uses it three times a week for 12 minutes each time. Now, that's more than what's recommended. And she said she kind of built up to that. Um, so I was like, you know, I'll try it. You know, my skin is sensitive, but like, you know, adding a little bit more and like using it for 10 minutes, I, didn't, I still didn't really feel much. So I did try it for 12 minutes and I did feel it a little bit more, like even throughout, not just in that last two minutes. But I did see like a, my skin was like slightly irritated, like right in here. Not much, not major. Um, so I was like, you know what? I think I'll leave off those last two minutes and I'll just stick to the 10 minutes twice a week using the right amount. And I can definitely already see a difference. Like when I do have breakouts, if there's anything that's there within less than 24 hours of using this, the breakout is completely gone as if it never existed. The hyperpigmentation that I have that's left over from like old stuff is like completely fading and I can like see it fading. Like there's a major difference. You don't have to like use this for months and months at a time before you see a difference. And what I've noticed is that like when I use it on Sunday night, like by Monday and Tuesday, I can already see a difference in like how everything is lightening up. And you know, the, the dark spots are even now, my texture is even now, like everything, my pores are smaller, like I can see a difference almost immediately like within a few hours like when i use this tonight i know i'll be able to see a difference by tomorrow morning in my skin and that's the type of results that i'm talking about. like that's the type of instant results that's just, you know as instant as you're gonna get with something that's gonna last you know some things are temporary and you know they're meant to only last for a few hours you know different types of cosmetic products but an actual skincare product you typically have to use it for a while longer before you see any lasting results. And that's not the case with this product. So I use one whole syringe, whatever you want to call it, for just this top part of my face with my forehead and like over to the sides a little bit. And then I use another whole one on this whole side of the face. And I wasn't using this much at first. I was using like one, I don't know, one pump, one syringe, whatever. I was using like one for the whole face. And that may have been why I didn't really feel anything. But of course, to start, I would rather use less than too much in case I did have some type of reaction or if this is just something your skin has to get used to before you can start using too much of it because if anybody's gonna have a reaction to something it's gonna be me Okay. Okay. Now using this amount, I do, I am feeling like a little bit of tingling right now. Not, nothing, nothing much, nothing major, but I do feel it actually working. So I know. I know we're getting somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit for maybe like nine minutes since it's already been on for a little bit. But rinse it off and get to the rest of my PM skincare. All right. So it's been 10 minutes. We've dried down just a little bit. It's not completely dry. It's not sticky. It's not like tacky to where I can't move my face or anything feels dry and stiff. It's nothing like that, but we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off and move on to the last little bit of my PM skincare routine. Okay, girl, we are done rinsing. Now, what I will say about this product, for it to be so pigmented, it doesn't have any scent, it doesn't leave behind any of that bright pink color 
Like there's nothing left in the sink. There's nothing on the towel, on my hands, on my face. There's nothing, no residue, no nothing. It's not a dye, it's actual, I believe it's called Tasmanian pepperberry. That's um, what that um, gives it the color. And that's specifically included to help reduce any irritation that the product, the other ingredients in the product may cause. So we are good to go. So normally after I do my three washes, I would go in with the, the nice set of my toner from Good Molecules and then with the glycolic acid and vitamin C serum. Um, <laughs> I would go in, um, after I wash my face, I would go in with the the Good Molecules Niacinamide nice Toner and then with the Glycolic Acid and Vitamin C Serum that I was showing you, my AM Skincare Routine. I'm going to skip both of those because I don't want to mix too many ingredients with what was already in this peeling solution. I just want to let those ingredients do their thing and not have to compete with anything else because I don't want to over complicate what's going on with my skin right now because this Peeling solution also includes glycolic acid and it's much more concentrated than what's in this one. You know, it's a higher, um, it's a more of an active ingredient in this product. So this one is good for daily use. This one is not good for daily use. So once or twice a week. So, you know, after using this particular product, it's just going with super hydrating products. So the only thing I'm going to use after this um, after this peeling solution on, on Wednesdays and Sunday nights, the only thing I go in with is my eye cream, the same one I used this morning, and then my day cream, the face and neck cream, the same one I used this morning. So even though it's a day cream, I do actually use it a.m. and p.m. And it works for me. Like I had a really hard time finding a good moisturizer, period, AM, PM, anything. I just had a really hard time finding one that was anti-aging, firming, things like that, because most most of the people that are looking for those type of, you know, that have those type of issues as far as, you know, anti-aging or wanting to get, make sure their skin stays, stays firm, you know, they're, they're, they're probably going to have drier skin. So the products were thicker. They had different ingredients to, you know, to add moisture throughout the day, throughout the night all the things and it was just too much for my skin but the products themselves didn't necessarily irritate my skin like i didn't have any instant irritation but after about a week or so i would notice that it was starting to clog my pores and i was getting breakouts just because the the products were a little too rich for my oily skin so even though i am in the you know was i was on the market for anti-aging and firming products i needed something that was very lightweight and not going to be doing too much for my skin so when i found when i found this one and I felt I could see that it was working. I could see that it was not, you know, cl you know, clogging my pores, anything like that. And you know, I was like, do I even need to waste time and money trying to find a PM product? I was like, well, let me just use this one for AM and PM for the time being. And I never even went back and you know started doing too much to try to find a PM. Like I did look a little bit, but once I was like, this one is working just fine. Like it's not too much for my skin. It's not something I need to draw back and only use once, once a day or something like that. So I just kept using it and I've been using this product. This is probably like my third one of these. My third, yeah, I was gonna say third or fourth, but that's probably my third one. And it ain't never did me dirty, so I'ma stick beside it for AM and PM. But yeah, girl, that is the extent of my skincare routine, AM and PM. This is where I had the most hyperpigmentation. And I will um like I'll I'll insert a picture here where you can see like what I literally started off with before I started getting laser hair removal and everything, like how bad it was. And this is literally all this left. So what it did, I was gonna do on its own, and I had to go in and find, you know, not just the ingredients that I was looking for that would help get my skin to where I wanted it to be, but I had to find it in the products that would work for my skin. And that took a while. And everybody's skin is different, so watching this video may help you, it may or may not help you. Watching other videos will kind of give you an idea of what you can kind of look for. Um, I would definitely say 
if you're you know looking on social media for help with skincare um don't just watch videos of people doing skincare find dermatologists that know what they're talking about that are going to give you actual clinical advice on what ingredient you should be looking for for the specific type of skin issues that you have and then go find those ingredients in products that are in your budget because they have i mean they like this these all these products here are all budget friendly this product here um four ounces is fourteen dollars i think this one is eighteen dollars it's the most expensive product that i have eighteen dollars this one is nine fifty this one is like ten dollars and this one is nine dollars you know what i mean and then this one um this CeraVe cleanser this was i think like ten dollars twelve dollars um and then of course my <laughs> my um baby shampoo which is like i don't know three dollars or something like that for and that's like the economy size but that's my budget i mean i could probably go a little bit more on skincare but i don't want to be using you know i don't i don't want to use products that cost an arm and a leg when i know i don't have to spend you know use products that cost an arm and a leg to get the results that that i'm looking for you can have decent you know really great quality products at decent prices that are still going to get you when you're trying to go with your skin so that's what i did it took a while to get to this point a lot of trial and error i did waste money on other products that i would try once or twice and i would see it didn't work it would cause irritation or breakouts or whatever so it was it was a whole minute before i got here so this is where we are but like i said my skin is in the best place it's been and you know since my early 20s since you know the hair started to become a major issue my the rest of my skin for the most part has always been in pretty decent shape you know the oilier it got the bigger my pores got but they were never like super out of control it was just like you know the acne that was coming from it that i was always trying to make sure i got it under control you know all the you know the the scarring from past trial and error and skin issues that's all starting to fade so my skin is in the best place it's been in a very very long time and i could not be more excited for myself especially going into my 40th birthday i love that for me but yeah girl that is my 40-ish skincare routine thank you so much for watching this video all the way through if you haven't already please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one